Hi everyone, and welcome to part two of our video series on deploying Confluence Data Center on Microsoft Azure. In this video, we'll walk you through exactly how to deploy Confluence Data Center using our Azure Quick Start template. If you haven't already, we'd recommend going back and watching part one of this series, where we outline the architectural setup and other recommendations for preparing your deployment. Now that you're ready to start the deployment process, you can approach this in one of two ways. Through the Azure Marketplace portal, or using the Azure command line interface, AKA the CLI. The fastest way to do this is to deploy Confluence using the Microsoft Azure Quick Start Portal, as you'll see here. This will bring you to the Confluence Data Center Quick Start template within the Azure Marketplace. It's important to note that in order to access the Marketplace, you'll need an account, username, and password to log in. Once on this page, all you'll have to do is select Create to begin configuring your deployment. From here, you'll want to start following the prompts in the wizard to configure your deployment. We start things off with the basics, which include your Azure subscription type, your resource group, and the location or region where Azure will host your deployment. If you have an existing resource group, you can use it or create a new one here. Next, you'll need to specify the version of Confluence you'd like to install in full, for example, 7.8.0. You can check out Confluence's release notes for a full list of all releases in the description box below. You'll also need to provide a name and password for the initial Confluence administrator on your instance. And last, you'll want to select the expected size of your site. You can choose from trial, small, medium, large, or enterprise. And as you've seen here, we've selected Enterprise for the data center deployment. This will determine the number of Confluence application nodes and the size of VMs to be provisioned. You can also choose Change Size to adjust the default selected cluster node VM size. Now on to configuring your database. You'll need to choose your database type, and you can choose between an Azure SQL database or an Azure database for Postgres. Be sure to provide a username and password for the database admin user. It's also worth noting that we typically recommend using Postgres for your database. Access to an SSH public key is used to secure shell into the instance that will act as Bastion host. You'll also want to add a username for SSH access to the Bitbucket nodes. You'll also need to provide your C name. This is the canonical name record for your organization. If you don't provide one, Azure will generate a random subdomain for your instance. And last but not least, you'll need to choose the monitoring and analytic services that you would like to enable. Please note that these are subject to availability by region. See the monitoring link in the description box below for related information. Now you're finally ready to review and begin your deployment. You'll want to make sure that the validation passed with that little green check mark above and you'll want to review all the information you provided to make sure that it's accurate. Once you've done so, go down to this Create button and begin the deployment. So we'll give it roughly 30 minutes for the deployment to take place. And voila, you've successfully deployed Confluence Data Center in a clustered environment using our Azure Quick Start template. Now, it's important to note that we also have a number of resources to help you in the migration and or deployment process. For one, you can reference the full documentation for the Azure Quick Start in the corresponding link in the video's description box below. You can also access documentation there to understand how to migrate data from an existing Confluence server instance. And last, if you're ready to try Confluence Data Center, you can evaluate a Confluence Data Center license at the link below. Thank you so much for tuning in to part two of our video series on deploying Confluence Data Center on Azure.